Afternoon, folks. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, we'll be discussing the third teaser trailer for Better Call Saul Season 6, along with some Season 6 promo images and other updates. Warning of spoilers for Better Call Saul Season 5, Breaking Bad, and El Camino. Subscribe to the channel for more immediate Better Call Saul Season 6 updates, and let's jump right into this. So this third teaser trailer actually released a few hours after the second one. I was literally in the middle of editing the second teaser video and saw this one pop up on Twitter. This trailer shows Gus Fring walking into his home. He first First grabs some mail out of his mailbox, then he opens his door and walks inside. He gives a heavy sigh for some reason, must have had a hard day at work. If you notice Gus's house number, it's been changed to 418 once again, hinting at the April 18th release date. Thinking that they had a handful of teasers that they were making at once, and that they put a bunch of release date easter eggs in like this because they weren't sure which one they'd release first. I wonder how much we'll see of Gus at his home this season along with his personal life. We've seen Gus invite both Walt and Jesse separately to his house for dinner, which is a manipulation tactic. I wonder if he'll do the same with someone else in Better Call Saul Season 6. We actually saw Gus's house in Better Call Saul once already, back in Season 4, when he was talking to the doctor that was helping rehabilitate Hector. Kinda redundant at this point, but maybe he could invite Mike to dinner, or even Nacho. Honestly, I like the Nacho idea the best. Also, when he invited Walt to dinner in Breaking Bad, he implied that he had kids and there was toys and whatnot in his house. I wonder if they can confirm whether that was fake or not. The Better Call Saul social media also released an explained video themselves showing off these release date easter eggs in both trailers. Not only that, but they released a few promo images as well. The first one shows Saul at a diner, possibly titled El Camino, kind of a cool easter egg. Second, we see an image of Kim in her lawyer outfit with some dust and lighting effects behind her. The third shows Gus and Mike together, and I think they might be in that portable office at Gus's chicken factory that we've seen from Breaking Bad. Back in early 2021, when they first started filming season 6, Gus's actor posted a behind the scenes video of himself in that portable office. Now as a bit of an update for what we've discussed in the previous teaser videos, in the last video I called the phone number on Saul Goodman's most wanted poster. At first I wasn't sure if it was legit, but now I'm convinced. I'll play the voicemail again for you in a moment, but keep in mind that I'm almost 100% sure that this is Gene who says this, he must have changed the voicemail himself. I'm not sure if this is canon like some of the other voicemail easter eggs, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. The number you have reached is no longer in service. There is no further information at this time. I love how they're still doing easter eggs with phone numbers, and apparently 202 is in fact the DC area code, and comments also mention that it's a legacy area code, meaning new people can't get that kind of number anymore, and that it's only meant for government and business numbers now. So it's logical within the lore that the number would be directed to Washington DC. So not only is that voicemail 100% Gene, I wonder what he's doing in Albuquerque if the second teaser is canon. Do you think he could be turning himself in, or could he have transferred to an Albuquerque Cinnabon? He's in normal clothes and not his uniform, but for all we know, he could just be off work. Or he's dealing with some unfinished business in Albuquerque? Feel free to give the number a call yourself, just be aware you may be charged with long distance fees. Also, I previously discussed how Ray Seahorn is directing episode 604. Tons of you commented examples of actors that also direct what they've acted in, so Kim is probably still alive by 604, but we'll see. I also heard that not only might Brian Cranston have directed an episode, but Gus Fring's actor Giancarlo Esposito might have directed an episode as well. I also love how the final three bonus episodes are both written and directed by the same people. 611 is written and directed by Tom Schnoz, 612 is written and directed by Vince Gilligan himself, and 613, the series finale, is written and directed by Peter Gould, which makes sense because he's the one that kind of took up the mantle after Vince backed off, even though Vince is back for season 6 now. And finally, as of February 10th, 2022, Better Call Saul season 6 has officially wrapped filming, confirmed by Tweet from Bob Odenkirk. Check out my two previous teaser trailer videos if you haven't yet already. To be honest, those trailers had a lot more to discuss than this one just showing Gus walking into his house. As always, I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything that I've said today, and if you're new here or just haven't yet already, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on when I post new content on Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Alright, um, uh, bye. Call me.